in 2002, Minority Report came out. And people thought that was a pretty cool movie. And it was a pretty cool movie. And so 17 years later, um, we have something we're going to have to deal with. But part of what I wanted to talk about was I don't, if, if you watch this channel or you know me at all, I don't have a smartphone. And I won't use them. And I am pretty private on my uh, internet. Although, you know, you can, you can find me and you can find my phone number. But I don't correspond a lot um, with personal things or political views or anything like that. And I just always had a creepy feeling. And so they told us that if you're not doing anything wrong, then you don't have anything to hide. Which we should be telling the government because <laughs> see what's going on there right now with all their lies and money manipulation and all that stuff. But, of course, I was over at Zero Hedge today, and uh, here's, the, here's the headline. With little fanfare, William Barr formally announces Orwellian pre-crime program. I took the time and read it, and I'm certainly not going to read it to you, because how boring is that when channels just do that? I want to read you this little section. The Cloud Act has come under fire from rights groups who have warned that the legislation gives unlimited jurisdiction to U.S. law enforcement over any data controlled by a service provider, regardless of where the data is stored or who created it. And this also applies to content, metadata, and subscriber information, including private messages. So that's pretty spooky. Um, basically, Barr, Bill Barr has set up a commission. They're going to push for a pre-crime um, program. They're putting the things in place that would let that happen, and that Cloud Act is one of them. Um, I truly suggest you go over and read this, but uh, sometimes, this one I read all the way through. Sometimes if you don't read them all the way through, go to the bottom, and you'll see what they're trying to tell you. As a consequence, William Barr's coming pre-crime program is arguably worse than the stuff of dystopian science fiction novels, as it films as it not only aims to detain Americans who have committed no crime, but will expressly target individuals, individuals based on their use of electronic consumer products and the contents of their communication with their friends, family, coworkers, and others. In the middle of this, it talks about they want a backdoor to everything, which they have backdoors to a lot of it, but not everything. And now they want it to everything. Um, and they're going to set up a legal platform that says if you talk about this thing and this thing, your mental health is this, and we're going to detain you because we think you're going to do a cause a mass shooting. Well, of all those mass shootings that we've had running around, oh yeah, they killed Baghdadi again too. That's kind of cool. Um, but the mass shootings don't seem to take enough to where people are willing to change their lives, give up their guns. So we had another one yesterday. Two dead, 14 injured, mass shooting, Texas A&M off-campus party. Apparently a guy with a rifle, of course. Although if there's, I'm in a party of 750 people, I'm not taking a rifle in there. Too awkward, too cumbersome, too hard to get anything done, but that's not the point. The point is, be war you've been warned <laughs> a long time ago, 17 years ago. And now as you see this develop, I don't know what to tell you. I mean... I think it's probably too late for most people to uncouple from tech, but I wish you would. Truly, everybody, I, sound of my voice, I wish you would throw away your smartphone, get a BlackBerry, use a landline computer, don't get out of wireless, get rid of your iWatch. I know you're not gonna, but I sincerely wish you would. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.